You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Roll v. Gedalion. Thank you, Ron. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Roll, you are here to prove you are not the father of Miss Gedalion's twin daughters. Yes, ma'am. You say she's infatuated with you, and that's the reason she wants to pin her babies on you. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Gedalion, you say there is no question Mr. Roll is the father of your twins. You say he left you with two babies and a broken heart. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Roll, how has this paternity suit affected you? First, I want to say, Your Honor, she's obsessed with me. Why? She would take pictures of me. She would sit there, she'll walk past my job, staring at me. Then when me and my ex broke up, I, I seen this, like, numbers of pictures that i never seen before. I didn't even know it was being taken. So, wait, you said you saw pictures you never knew were being taken. Yes, ma'am. Are you obsessed with them, Ms. Gedalion? No, Your Honor. I am How not. did this relationship start? On breaks and stuff, I would go over to his job and get drinks or whatever, and he was somewhat of, like, a player, you would say. He would flirt with everybody there. So, you know, he was flirting with me. I was flirting back. So, I mean, after a while, you know... I looked him up on Facebook, and we started <laughs> writing on Facebook and whatnot, you know, because I thought there was something going on. You know, we were flirting with each other all the time. And after a while, he invited me over to his house. So you're saying you weren't obsessed, you were just interested. Right, right. And yes, this was Your proceeding Honor. like a normal courtship would. You yes, talked on the phone, you Facebooked. Right. Sent <laughs> text. So at this point, Mr. Rowe, you're single. No. You're not. No. When she, when she, when she, when she sent me the message on Facebook, she, I had pictures of me and my ex together. We all would go trips, we do vacation. So she was well aware I was in a relationship when she hit me up. No, okay. Your Honor. You knew no, that. Ma'am. She was well aware. She went through my Facebook and were able to find out where I was at. How to message me? She seen the pictures of me and my ex. If you had a girlfriend at the time, how did you end up flirting and being in this full courtship thing with Miss Gedalion? <laughs> <laughs> Don't um, get quiet now. Your Honor, he was <laughs> cheating. <laughs> I'm a friendly person. I'm, I get along with anybody. It's, it's hard not to like me. So I didn't really... I didn't really feel like I was being flirtatious in the beginning because I was in a relationship with a girl. We was happy, but then as time went on, we... On my part, I just felt like our relationship was going downhill. That's when she hit me up on Facebook and it went on from there. Ms. Gedalion, were you starting a relationship with Mr. Roll, or were you all just flirting and being single? When we started talking, I thought there was a little, you know, more going on, a relationship starting. And then until he told me that he had a girlfriend. So he tells you, I have <laughs> a girlfriend. He told me he had a girlfriend after we already had had slept together. Okay. I wasn't... You, you, when you came to my home, you know I wasn't paying my bills by myself. Someone else was living there. I, I had could... pictures on the wall. You had her at your house? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. I, I wasn't trying to hide it. You're not that sneaky. You just bring another <laughs> woman into your girlfriend's house. It was, I was wrong. Are you using protection? No, Your Honor. We weren't. <sighs> when you all were having this flirtation, you thought it was a relationship budding, he just thought it was nothing casual. <laughs> when did it change? When he told me he had a girlfriend, I should have stepped back and just, you know, stopped completely. But then at that time, like, my feelings were already, you know, starting for him. And we just kept doing it. It was wrong, you know, but we, we continued to do what we were doing. I and... wanted to leave the girl with for her. It was just... I told her what the situation was, and she... In my mind, she, she understood what was going on. Then when she started catching feelings, and I know she would catch feelings because she would buy me things, bring me food to work. And I, I see that she would catch feelings, I tried to step back. And then, next thing you know... Your Honor, he, he knew that, uh, that, that I was catching feelings for him. I made it known to that, and he said that, you know, he was catching feelings for me, too. I told you what you wanted to hear. And he was kind Oh, hold on! He just said he told you what you wanted to hear, so you admit it. Yep. You admit it, Mr. Roll. You did tell her you had feelings for her, too. I just... I told her what she wanted to hear. I was leading her on. You were leading her on? Okay. With yes, pride and conviction? Yes, Just Your Honor. being a lie? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And all the while, you with your girlfriend? Yes, Your Honor. Did your girlfriend ever find out about this? Yes, Your Honor. Honor. She Facebooked my girlfriend, all the pictures, all the text messages that we had. 
even after she broke me and my, me and my ex broke up, she continued to send pictures of um that she's taken to my ex, even continued to talk to her. You sent her the pictures, Miss Gedalian. That and was after I found out I was pregnant, and I asked him. I said, "What would you do if I was pregnant?" And he said, "It would ruin my life." I said, "Well, then never mind." He says, "You're pregnant, aren't you?" And I said, "You know what? I am. Don't worry about it. It's I didn't, not she, your baby." The first day, we, she told me she had to tell me something. I didn't find out. But I had to. Actually, like two or three days later, what she wanted to tell me, that's when she told me she was pregnant. And of course, it was gonna ruin my life. I have two other kids. I take care of them, but at that time, I wasn't, I, ain't, I wasn't ready to have no kids. I didn't, I, didn't, I ain't want no more. But you were having unprotected sex. Yes, Your Honor. With someone other than your girlfriend. Yes, Your Honor. And telling her that you had feelings for her. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, that math don't add up. <laughs> it don't. That's recipe for baby making. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let me make sure I'm on point with the facts. You find <clears throat> out you're pregnant, you tell him, you know he feels like it's gonna ruin his life. What gets in your mind where you decide, I'm gonna send these Facebook pictures over to this woman? I Upset. found his girlfriend. We talked on the phone. And I told her that, you know, I needed to tell her something very serious. You know, I'm sorry that I did this. This was like a public service announcement. <laughs> <laughs> no, she needed, she needed to know that... So, at that point, you were filled with guilt. Yes. She needed to know what was going on. You know, he needed to step up to the plate and tell her, but nope. he never was going to tell her. I was so, going to tell her, but you just cannot... For you cannot force me to do something that I wasn't ready for. So, I when mean, you found out she sent the pictures over and now your ex knew about this, then what happened? I called her and cussed out. <laughs> <laughs> what did your ex do? So, when I got home one night from work, she, my ex was sitting at the table. She was sitting there crying, had the laptop open. I noticed all my clothes was packed. So, when I went in the room and changed clothes, she came out. She was like, what's this? And she just started showing me all the pictures. And I, like, got off the phone, I called her, I cussed her. I called her every name that my brain came up with. This is because you're angry because she reached out to your ex. I feel like she did it out of despite because I distanced myself from her. I just stopped, stopped talking to her. When she would come in my job, she, I wouldn't really say nothing to her. I just walk away from her. Like, your I Honor, no, I... Trust me, I wasn't buying the public service announcement testimony anyway. So, I, I, I'm sure that it was out of spite somewhat. But regardless, at this point, when you find out she's pregnant, your ex has been informed, do you think you're the father at this point? No, because she was married. What? Your Honor, I was in the middle of a divorce. I had been... I had been separated from my husband for over a year. We were in the middle of a divorce that I was trying... The divorce lasted a very long time. And so, Mr. Rowe, your point is she wasn't completely divorced, so she may have and, still been having sex with her husband. And I was told she said slept with someone else. So, like, in my mind, I'm sitting there like, it can't, it can't be mine. It, Where did you hear that? From people I work with. And pe also people that work... And, and the, the partner that she worked at also. Had you slept with somebody else? No, Your Honor. You gotta prove me wrong. Was Mr. Roll there? Did he participate in the birth of the babies? No, Your Honor. After I, I told him I was pregnant and everything, and after the whole thing happened with his girlfriend, he kept telling me, leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you. I and want you, nothing you to do with the you, babies. You I already have, you know, kids. I don't need any more. I, you know... After a while of trying and trying and trying to get somebody to be there, and they keep telling you to leave them alone, eventually you just leave them alone. In my mind, is she, as another man on the birth certificate, another man was there for the birth, another man cut the umbilical cord. So in my mind, these, these, are, these are not my kids. If they were my kids, I would have some part. You would have reached out to me at some point in time. Hold on now. That's an important fact. There's another man on the birth certificate and another man was there for the birth? I asked him if it was okay before it was even done. And he said he did not care. Oh, so he do you remember her approaching do. you and saying, look, I have a boyfriend now and he wants to sign the birth certificate? No, no it didn't happen like that. It's, she, was, she was married. Like, I, in my mind, it was her husband. So you shouldn't come in at me and ask me, is but it okay? But this person who signed the birth certificate, that's not your husband, is it? That's somebody else. Mm -hmm. Correct. She said boyfriend. That's between you and your husband because you're married. Oh! oh. 
Oh, so you can go and have unprotected sex with his wife, but then when she gets pregnant, it only has to deal with him. Your Honor, he knew it wasn't my husband <laughs> at the time. We all worked in the same building. My husband worked in the same building. My boyfriend worked in the same building as me and Mr. Rule. Well, Ron, ain't this all in the family? <laughs> You're close I worked there for five years. <laughs> Kind of. You just yeah. covered every department <laughs> in that building. <laughs> Listen, this is a mess. But she also got mad and told me that she slept with another black guy. Ooh. Your Honor, that was in the beginning. So you said that to him? I said that because I was upset. So I, now you right. infused doubt, like even correct. more yeah. doubt into the picture. It's like throwing correct. gas on a fire. No, you was already lit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear. You all over the place, Mr. Rowe. Don't try to look innocent now. You all over the place. But I will say, if it was any little point that he could have been checked in, you gave him a reason to check out then. You know, I'm Bahamian. These, then the babies came out way too light. <laughs> Listen, they come in all shades and colors. But when, when, How can you my, just look at the children and say... I got 15, 16 nieces and nephews. All, all of them take out to my family. Dark, head full of hair, babies. And when these kids were born, it wasn't like that. Had Not anybody else in your family slept with Miss Gedalion? <laughs> I mean, I'm not being funny. Because if not, her DNA was not involved. So that can't be a predictor of what these children are gonna look like. I think we need to meet the man that's on the birth certificate. Ron? Yes, ma'am. Can you please escort Mr. Taylor into the courtroom? I have you stand right next to him. Ms. Gadalian, please. Mr. Taylor, thank you for joining us today. You signed the birth certificate for these beautiful children when they were born, and you were also at the hospital when Ms. Gadalian delivered. I was. Um, me and Sarah had built a relationship. Um, I knew she was pregnant. I, obviously, I knew they weren't mine. There was rumors that say they were willies. There was rumors saying that they weren't willies. After our relationship built, I didn't care. I just knew that the man wasn't around. So when you and Miss Gedalian started to form a relationship, you decided you wanted to give these children your last name. I did. Where I come from, you don't lay down with a woman without protection or anything like that unless you're willing to understand that babies can happen. So to sit and deny when a woman comes up to you and says, these children may be yours. But you didn't, you, you didn't know what was going on between us, so. I like, didn't why? care. It wasn't, a, it it's not true. about you, it's not about her, it's about those children. So Mr. Taylor, in the meantime, you stepped up as their father. I did. These twins. You signed the birth certificate. Yes, ma'am. You gave them your last name. Absolutely. You've been their dad. Along with my mother's names, which to me is a big deal. Oh, they're beautiful. And I can see the love in your eyes when you look at them. Yes, ma'am. And, Mr. Roll, you can barely look at them. I think it's time we go to the results. I'm ready. Thank you, Ron. Does anybody have anything they'd like to say before I read these results? Anyone? If there are minds, I can be... I'm the, I'm the only man that they need in their life. I appreciate what he did, but I can do it all myself. Anything else you'd like to add? Mr. Taylor, Ms. Gedalian? I don't want them to lose my last name. All right, they, it's coming off their birth certificate, their minds. Well, were you denying them, or are they ain't yours? Nothing, Which one ain't nothing is you do about it. Confused. So they are yours now. It, it, well, shit. Or are they not? Shit, like, shit. You keep yeah, that's what I'm here to find out. Luckily for us all, I have the results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Roll versus Gedalian, when it comes to five-month-old twins, Rebecca and Gracie Taylor, it has been determined by this court do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Mr. Roll, you are their father. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
I just want to apologize for not being there. It's just, it's so much had happened in my anger issues. I just pushed them away, like. And I can see that really hurts you now. My, my father denied me my whole life. All me and my brothers and sisters. And I did the same thing to them. I told myself I'd never do that. You know, this courtroom is about getting to the truth, but I love it when people come into this courtroom and have the courage to just tell the truth. You admitted you had some doubt, but what I thought was even better about that and that showed me who you were as a man is that you admitted that you let anger get the best of you. I appreciate what he did, but I'm the only man that them girls need in their life. You may want your name on their birth ticket, but that's not gonna happen. We'll see. You know, this is a difficult situation. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Roll, with this information you've gotten today, you would have to proceed in your home state have to no have his name removed. Oh, I understand. Okay. So you've got some catching up to do, Mr. Roll? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Taylor, you've got some adjusting to do. Yes, ma'am. And Ms. Gedalian, you're going to have some mediating to do. I wish you all the very best of luck. We have counseling and resources for you. Please Can sit I see down and take advice. I'm sorry? Can I see the girls? May he see his girls? Yes, Your Honor. Wonderful. I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you. Court is adjourned. Good luck to you.